Hey, this is Professor Dave from dragondropco.com. I'm going to show you how to build a quiz app, a trivia app. And this one's about kind of women leaders. And as you can see, there's a question about Rosa Parks. And I can answer, um, and it will tell me if that's correct or incorrect. I think the answer to this one is Montgomery. But if I choose Knoxville, it says incorrect. And I can kind of next through. So it's kind of slideshow-esque as it goes through um, all the different questions and pictures. Okay, we're going to start from scratch and build build this kind of quiz app or trivia app and and you can build any quiz you want using the same kind of processes we're going to learn here so i'm going to create a new app and i'm going to call this one uh trivia app two okay and the category is going to be education and i'm going to use the drag and drop interface okay and um, what Dunkable is doing right now is just kind of creating a blank project for me. And the first thing I'm going to do once the, once this comes up is I'm going to bring in some assets. So what I mean by assets is the media for this. And I'm going to bring in some pictures and I've got them all in this folder. So I'm just going to kind of grab these guys four pictures and I'm going to go and choose this little assets area. And then I can just drag these pictures in. So they're not going to show up in my app yet. But at least they're, you know, they're they're loaded as part of the app now, right? Um, so I got all those in. And now what I want to do is first thing I'm gonna do is just build a slideshow that just goes through those pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here back to the designer and I'm gonna add an image. And let's just make that image a lot bigger. And you know, one thing, I don't want stretch mode. I'm gonna do, let's just do cover for now. Um, but you can play around with those properties. And what I want to do is, is, is show a picture. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm going to, you know, I could just choose one here. So like Rosa might be the first one and I can see how the first one might look, but really what I want to do is in my blocks, set up a list of the pictures and then be able to let the user rifle through them. So I'm going to need a button, which is my next button. Remember on the quiz, I showed you there was this next button and I'm just going to put next as the text. And then I'm going to rename the button next button. So when I'm in my blocks editor, um, I know what, know what to do. Okay. So I've got a picture, I've got a next button and I've got my, all my images in there. Um, and now I just need to code this up. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is right when the screen opens, I'm going to want to put the first item into the, into the picture. Okay. I know I, I did that in the designer, but I'm going to have a list variable, which has all my images and whatever that first picture is, that's what I want to put, put in to show. Okay. So first thing I need to do, let's create the variable and this variable is going to be a list and I'm going to call it the pick list. And I'm just going to create from this list folder. Um, sorry, I want this first guy. So it's going to be a list and there's actually going to be four items. So I can click on the blue icon and add however many items I want, right? So now I've got four items. I don't want any of these numbers. And my list items are actually gonna be the file names of the, of the pictures. And you gotta be very careful with this because um, you know it's gotta be exact. So you can't, um, I'm using control V, control C, control V to copy paste, but I want these to be the exact names of my images. And if I come over to my assets, you know, they're all JPGs and Vaughn, Vaughn has a, 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 Dorothy Vaughn's got a name spelling that's kind of tough, but I'm going to go back to my blocks and I'm going to say um, parks.jpg. And then my second one is hopper.jpg. And the third one is that Vaughn.jpg. And then I think the last one is Ginsburg. But just be very careful that you get these exactly right. Like I typed that one wrong, that's gonna come out wrong. Okay, so I've got this list of four pictures. And what I wanna do is when the screen opens, I wanna grab the first item. And in, in lists, there's a bunch of operations that do things to a list. Probably the most common one is get one of the items from the list, right? In this case, we wanna get the first thing. So I'm gonna grab this get block, probably the most common list block. And the list I care about, of course, is this thing called pick list. Okay. And I want to get the first thing. That's good. 
And where do I want to put it? Well, I want to put it as the image. So I'm going to set the images picture to grab the first item in the list. Of course, we know that's parks.jpg. Okay, but if I change this list, or if this list was dynamic, right, it came from a spreadsheet or something, this code would still work. So let's just test this. I, all, all I got right now is when the app starts, it should show parks and, and there, there it is. Okay, so I think that's, that's working. Now notice if I, if I did put a three here and ran it again, um, it would show Dorothy Vaughn, okay? So anyway, let's go back and make sure we put one there. So when the screen opens, we're gonna show the first thing. Now let's do the next button. And that's where we need to kind of keep track of where we're at in the quiz, okay? Like you might think, oh, okay, on the next button, yeah, when they click next, I wanna show the second thing, okay? So I might come down here, change my picture to the second item, which is gonna be uh, Hopper, Grace Hopper, right? Um, and of course, I, if I run this, uh, I get door, uh, Parks first and I click Next. Okay, cool, I get Hopper, but when I click Next, nothing happens, right? Because you know this code is way too um, fixed, right? I really need this to be some change thing. And, and what we need is a variable, and these variables are usually called indexes, and the index is kind of, is basically the current item that we're at. Okay, so I'm gonna go to variables, create a new variable, and I'm gonna call it index. And I'm gonna start that index at one. Okay, in some coding languages like Java, Python, you know, most traditional languages, the first index is zero. But in, in Thunkable, at least, when you have a list, this is one, that's two, that's three, that's four. Okay, so we're gonna have an index that starts as one. And when we click next, we kind of want to increase the index and then go get that indexed item. Okay, so I'm gonna, instead of grabbing the second thing, I'm gonna grab the indexed thing. Okay, and that's a little weird, right? You're used to third, fourth, but think of the index thing. And what that means is whatever's in this little box called index, so even though you know we initialize it to one, really think of it as a memory cell with some number in it, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that index every time and make it bigger. So I'm gonna change my index. And what I wanna do is increment it. So it's one more than it was. Okay, and it's gonna be itself plus one. So every time I'm gonna see what the index is, add one to it and reset the index. So if it's one, it's gonna be two. If it's two, it's gonna be three and, and so on. Okay, this is not gonna work completely. I'll show you, we're gonna have a problem, but let's run this. And when I run it, okay, cool, I can get Ginsburg. Okay, cool, I can get Bond, the third one. Okay, well, sorry, the Hopper was the second one and fourth one's Ginsburg. But when I hit next again, I get a blank, okay? so my index just keeps going up and up. And once it gets past Ginsburg, it gets to five, things, things screw up, okay? So what I need to do is have an if statement that says, look, if this index gets too big, and let's just wrap it around, we'll go back to the first one again. So I'm gonna go to control, add a if block. And this code I'm showing you is probably the most common code that you do. It's like you walk through a list, you check it to see if you're at the end and do something, you know, when you get to the end. And in this case, my logic is, is my index too big? So I'm just gonna grab this index and it, if it gets bigger than four, um, then what I wanna do is set the index back to one. Okay, so that's the wraparound. We could do things like, oh, let's just stop and, you know, make the quiz, you know, make it freeze or, you know, gray out the next button so you can't click next anymore. But what we're gonna do is just flip it around. Okay, so now if I run this app uh, and I click next, I can just keep going and keep walking through. Okay, that's cool. So I've got a wrap around slideshow right now. And you know, I use this variable index, which keeps track of where I am, one, two, three, four, five. And then the key is this get block and I'm getting the indexed 
item which lets me kind of kind of kind of walk through it so that's that's a quick and dirty slideshow and you know in the next video i'll show you how to turn this into a quiz